Hey guys, this is Cam for 15. Hey, <laughs> and the Red Wolf joined yet again for another Fire Force season two review. And one, I'm exhausted from today just because I've already made three videos today. This will be the fourth one that is going up on YouTube today. And I still have to make the thumbnail for this video, shit. Anyways, um, yeah. So uh, I'm also tired because this episode was uh, just too much, man. Just too much. <laughs> oh, boy. What, what do you got to say about this episode that hasn't already been said? I'm kind of, my, my, my opinions on Joker and, uh, oh, my God. My opinions on Joker has kind of changed quite a bit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm guessing we're gonna get to it because, uh, yeah, because it was crazy. So uh, yeah, let's let, let's definitely get to it. So this is Fire Force episode twelve. So anyways, we all know where we left off. Where Shinamon actually got hit by uh, somebody, that one big burly guy, and Joker was poking at him like a, you know, uh, like people are how like a Rowley from Dragon Ball or Doctor Slump likes to poke at poop. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, Shinamon actually reawakens and he is pissed. And let's just say he shows no mercy to the guy that uh, apparently poison darted him. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, now Joker even asked like, uh, you got poison darted, how are you even standing? He's like, I don't know, and nor do I care. I was like, oh, well, that's just a, uh, Okay. That's kind of alpha, bro. It's kind of yes. Alpha. I was like, okay, that was just badass. Okay. Anyways, um, they go into the church, and one, can I just say the crosses look like the evangelist logo? Mm -hmm. Um. Now, Joker said, because Shinamon points out, I was like, where is everybody? You just see a lot of papers on the ground. And Joker says, oh, what is it? They're in the nether, which you all know what the nether is. But, um, Anyways, they he kicks down like I guess this like pedestal like if you were went to a church and where a pastor would be at he kicks his pedestal. There's an underground basement they go down to, and stuff like that. Now Shinamon actually asked Joker, "You like how he knows so much about this place?" And Joker says, "Well, to be honest, I just love the dark." Which I was like, "What? I don't know what that means, but okay." But uh, yeah, we'll find out later. Um. Anyways, uh, what we do find out is he, what he does tell Shinamon is, he says that, well, I used to be in this church, essentially. So I was like, oh, okay. Not a spicious. And it just turned into a funny comedic scene when, you know, Shinamon's like, wait, you have their haircuts? And you just have the way that... The oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I saw that. And Joker literally breaks character, and he's like, are you crazy? No, I did not have that! <laughs> Which was hilarious. Uh. So, um, we get to the crazy part. So, they get down to this, the lowest basement, which looks all technology, technology and all steam-powered and stuff like that. Next thing you know, the lights go out, these red lights come out, and next thing you know, I'm looking at these white core jesters, you know, with these masks on. I'm like, um, are you guys like uh, evangelist members or something else? Now, um, Joker, he goes on to mention the fact that, um, because Shimon has the same question. He's like, well, they're the Holy Soul Temple's secret assassinate, assassination team. And, um... They bring the mention, um, like, what are you doing here? You might want to leave, otherwise you're going to die. And Joker's like, oh, come on. How could you give not such a warm welcome to me? You know, it's me, 52. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, now, if you would like to talk about the backstory to Joker, go right ahead, Denzel. Okay, so, as you said, he, 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 was, once, he was once part of the church. He's also, he's, he was also a really skilled fighter back in the day. 
but then this one the commander. The, the commander. commander the one commander i don't know for some reason he suddenly started like beating down on him just because he just because he was all saying like you think you're special and all that stuff and all that stuff and whatever i was like okay stop punching him already what we we, we both have similar thoughts on that punching team. Yeah, even one of his, even one of the other people's like, okay, calm down, man. He even grabbed him. I'm like, I'm watching this scene, albeit, and I'm like, dude, what? Like to say that the commander, he felt like every time I watched this guy, I legit felt like the commander did not blink one bit. He was just like, mm-hmm. and that was scary. To say the fact that uh, this commander guy scared me as much as how I was scared in this past ReZero episode, that says a lot. Go on with the backstory. So, yeah. Uh, so, basically, uh, J- J- Joker has put up with all that, all that bull bull for, from, from that guy since he was a kid. Even, even that one point where he had like a, a keepsake from his family, apparently. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then yeah and then the, the commander like pretty much took it from him and then bur- crushed it and burned it that's where he like i don't know he was like reaching his limit and then that that that, that one back story of like uh shinra and show like showed up oh and- actually sorry to cut you sorry, sorry to cut you off um also even after the scene after he breaks the raw the, the watch he's like coming to my office in a few minutes this dude is getting whipped. And then for some reason, the commander said, I'm going to defile your body. So um, I'm not going to take it any further than what that was already said. But if he said he's going to defile his body, I think we all know what he meant. Uh-uh. And not in the appropriate way. Mm-hmm. Now, to say that scene somehow gave me uh, SAO season one part two vibes right there. Um, wow. Yeah, switch out Austin up for Joker. That's all I gotta say. Anyways, continue. I think I think I think you can explain it better than I can. <laughs> Anyways, um, we do cut back to the what happened, which is obviously, you know, Shinren shows mother turn into an inferno. And everything that happened there. Um, they make a mention of the fact that now the assassination team makes a mention of the fact that show Kusakabe, and it seems like they were after him as well. Um, but in the meantime, Joker actually ran away. And he, I guess you could say, defected from that assassination team. So mm-hmm. he later, I guess, is knocked out in front of this family's house. So this one nice girl, you know, is like, hey, there's this uh um boy who's outside and he looks like he needs some food and hungry so this new family takes him in like nice and everything I'm like okay okay he, he he i wonder what made him change to the person he was because it seems like this family really cared about him and stuff like that well he goes out for groceries and he gets the groceries and next thing you know you see these two people in suits leave that house and by the time he gets in there to say i brought we probably saw the goat well not yet, but at this point in time, to see that we saw the glorious scene in Fire Force right then and there, uh, I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so then it cuts back to that same commander. He's like, did you kill the family? And the peace board, the, the other people are like, yeah, we killed them. And he's like, I'm going to make sure 52's life is essentially living hell, which, okay. You know, I, I don't know. He 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 was to say he was probably mentally crazy. He was mentally crazy, and thank God he's well, taken care of this, taken care of by this episode. Anyways, um, also some other fun facts. Um, Joker also wanted to be strong too, so you know that's another big thing about him. He wants to be strong, and that's why he also ran away and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Now, this starts the whole fight between, you know, Shunamon um, and the secret assassination team and Joker versus the commander of this group. 
And one, can I just say, Shinamon was absolutely owning those guys. Yep. Like, my God. he Like, they're trying to go in for the kill and everything. And I'm like, and he's just dodging him effectively. And he's just doing all the moves. He's like, yeah, you think you can try, but bitch, please. Um, essentially, that's what he was saying. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, now we get to the fight where we wanted to see, and that's the commander versus Joker. And to say that uh, the commander used essentially a weapon that reminded me of Hold'em from One Piece when he used that one thing against Ashura Doji, the one sword-like thing that not only lights on fire, but it just breaks apart in different ways. I don't know if you saw that. That kind of related to me right there. Um, But Joker here was getting absolutely, like, owned and stuff like that. But the thing about Joker is he wasn't, like, afraid like he used to be. He was like... Eh, that's the best you've got. So, um, yeah, so he, it's always, and this battle's like, he's asking the commander to the point, he gives him a good shot to the face where it breaks the mask and you see the commander's face. And one, the commander's face looks exactly the same like it did in the flashback. So uh, the dude didn't age at all. Um, two, um, the one thing is he's always asking, he's like, so how many cards do you have? And the funny thing is, Joker just said 52, which, I'm sorry, was legit badass when he said that. He's like, yeah, I just have 52 cards, which is funny enough, is his code name or his, I guess his mm-hmm. number within the group and stuff like that. But anyways, you know, as Joker just keeps throwing the cards, it doesn't work. The dude's just slicing the cards up and everything to the point he has like one final card, which is his Joker card. And what he does essentially is, since there's smoke around the area due to his um, cigar or his cigarette, he kind of makes the dude lose it. Like a, a hallucinating drug like goes into effect. Like if you were like on something. And mm-hmm. essentially, you know, you get this trippy scene from the commander's perspective. And my God, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I said the family being killed and they showed that entire everything was probably the most glorious scene. Yeah. Well, this really topped that. So, one, he cuts, <coughs> Joker cuts off the forearm of the commander. And the forearm just, the, for, the commander's looking at this. You just have blood splattering. It's just spilling out of his arm like crazy. And I'm like, dang. Next thing you know, this dude chopped him not only in different body parts, but he chopped this guy into pieces like he was damn near sushi. And as you see, just the other body parts just hit the ground and just hear the, and I'm like, you know, (laughs) I like to walk out. After that, I was like, yeah, um, I'm done. And uh, two, Fire Force. You know, I love me some Fire Force. I love me some Fire Force. I do. I love this episode. I really did love this episode. This episode was really good. But after this episode, you cannot tell me that Fire Force is on, on a whole new level now. Mm-hmm. They are not afraid to do what they did in today's episode. Nonsense or no nothing. I was like, Oh, wow. That's just, uh, damn. That's just dandy. <laughs> so Commander's dead, and Joker's like, well, as, it, with, as holding his Joker card, he's like, well, I didn't want to use my, you know, big finale trick for, hit for that pushover, and I just wanted, I wanted to use it for you. And as he turns back, now I'm thinking it's Sheenamon about to confront him. But when he turns around, we see Captain Burns, the captain of the first, you know, Fire Force squadron. And yeah, so that's where the episode ends off. And I was like, bro, come on, dude. So apparently we're going to see the connection between Burns and Joker next week. And yeah. it's also, you know, it also seems like we're going to get some more what of Company 8 currently doing right in that episode. But okay. So it seems like we're focusing on what, again, the opening sa- shows us in terms of what 
they show us. Now, okay, it's going to be interesting to see. So it seems like we're going to get Joker versus Burns. And we all know how crazy strong Burns is just from his one fight with Shinra. But, uh, yeah. Um, episode was really good. Really good episode. I have nothing else to say. What about you, buddy? Yeah, same. It, after this episode, I, I, I'd say Joker is, has to be one of my favorite characters in the series now. Yeah. And Jesus. The fact that they made you feel for Joker, where he was kind of an orphan, got put into a group with an abusive leader mm-hmm. and to all go away from that look like if he if that family didn't die he'd probably just be a regular person mm-hmm. he, he might have married the, the the person's daughter too honestly because the daughter looked like she liked him yeah maybe maybe but... <sighs> those guys but then yeah died and then we now find the reason why he became joker because he was essentially all alone but like Joker said in that trippy scene, he's like, you thought I was alone, but I, in reality, I'm not alone. Which, again, was crazy. So, uh, yeah. Um, so Burns versus Joker. I don't know much else I got to say about that, but Fire Force, fun entirely, entirely intended, is heating up. Man, this arc is crazy. This little mini arc we're getting here is crazy. I don't even want to know what's going to happen in the back half of the season. Because this is episode 12. We only got like, also, we only got like three more episodes till we get to halfway part of the season. Also, (laughs) I forgot to mention, in the next episode preview, they show a certain red-haired girl, which I think is the one girl Vulcan was in love with or had feelings for or something like that. I forgot her name. And then, do we know for sure he has feeling for her, or he just cares about her? You cannot, you cannot, okay. Listen, back in season one, when he was trying to bring her back to the good side, you cannot deny a fact that that dude has legit feelings for her. I mean, I guess. But you, have to, but you also have to look at the genre again. Well... In my teen romantic comedy, we got a confession, even though there was no I love yous said in that entire conversation. But hey, what do I say? I love romance. Is, is it a romance enemy, at least? So, so yeah. What, my teen romantic comedy? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a romance genre in mine, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So, uh, okay, that's all we got to say here. So I guess you'll catch us tomorrow morning for the finale of this upcoming season. Well, this past season of SAO. It's not like all the summer animes are ending. Food Wars is ending next week. Rent a Girlfriend's ending next week. SAO ends tomorrow. <sighs> this, the summer anime is all coming to a close. But hey, we got a lot of fall animes that I can't wait well. For me, it's isn't not wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon, but I digress. Anyways, we're gonna get up here. Hopefully, you guys like the video. Leave a like. Put in the comment section your thoughts about this episode. Do you sympathize with Joker like Denzel does? As well as uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to get more Fire Force content and keep uploading Fire Force content until Fire Force is done. So uh, yeah. Other than that, anything else to say, Denzel? That's it for me. I'm satisfied with this episode. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here. And, well, we're going to get out of here. We'll catch you guys tomorrow morning for some Sword Art Online. Um, so, yeah. So, till then, guys. Hopefully, you guys are having a great rest of your day. And peace. Peace.